I've watched them all practice and play quite extensively for 30 years. Um, and Rashada has as good a NFL upside as any of them. Um, he has the best arm of a, of a guy other than maybe like Dylan Sterling Cole, who never really had the mental part of the game, I don't think, down. Other than that, he has the best arm since at least Andrew Walter 20 years ago. Wow. And uh, he's got the stature of the size. He was throwing very accurate passes in, on Sunday as they sort of condense their playbook. I'm starting to see him get through to the backside on third progression reads. Like, he has a mental aptitude. He wants to be a passer, unlike Jaden Daniels, who was so apt to kind of want to run and scramble. Much bigger, better sort of body and, 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 and overall physical presence projecting to the next level. We'll see what happens. But I, I feel like there's no doubt in my mind that he has first or second day NFL upside. It's Chris Carbon from Sun Devil Source on with Burns and Gambo yesterday talking about the uh, new starting quarterback for the Arizona State Sun Devils heading into their uh, game week next week against Southern Utah. Jaden Rashada, the freshman, started his uh, college career, I guess, with a commitment to Miami. Got out of that commitment, went to Florida. NIL deal went south at Florida. He ends up uh, enrolling at ASU right before spring practice starts and um you know his, his, his dad his was father harlan sun rashada devil, yeah. played uh, from 92 to 94 for the sun devils but he's going to be the guy and i think you know again we talked about this earlier don't want to dwell on it a bit of a surprise considering what we had heard coming out of camp what we had seen uh from trenton borgay and the fact that really when fall camp started Jaden rashada was running number three this is not unlike the fall camp I think it was Todd Graham's first team. Remember, it was Michael Eubank, Mike Bercovici, and Taylor Kelly. Taylor Kelly was running solidly number three during all of fall camp. He became the starting quarterback. And I think Taylor Kelly is probably the best the best quarterback ASU has had in the Pac-12 era, so starting in 2011. Would you agree with that? Uh, he was the most consistent. Yes, I would say yes. Not as terms of a pro prospect, obviously, but for running an offense and, the job and winning done. college football games, he sure. was pretty darn good at that. Sure. Getting the job done, yeah. So this reminded me of that when we got a guy running three and got a late start, by the way. How is this going to go? Uh, we'll, we'll find out. He's incredibly talented to hear Chris Cartman, who he again prefaced that by saying he's seen everything for the last 30 years. Um, the arm talent, the athleticism. This could be very exciting. First day NFL prospect. Yeah. Very exciting. And the exciting thing <laughs> in college sports, at least until that changes too, is that when you have someone that talented and they start as a freshman, you know you have them. Okay, a couple a couple things. First of all, the, the, the pedigree of Rashada. I'm not sure Arizona State has recruited a quarterback of this caliber when you talk about rankings and stars mm -hmm. and – He's a top 50 player, top five, top six quarterback mm -hmm. in this particular class. So he's coming in with that kind of resume, that kind of pedigree. Quarterbacks like that, especially in today's era, with parents and players being impatient and the portal dangling out there, yes. they're not coming to they, they're coming to play. They're not coming to sit two years. Yeah. So it, Rashada could have sat this year, but he ain't sitting next year. So Kenny's got that kind of dangling out there. Like, th this kid's coming to play at some point. On the flip side, is it is there a fear that if he is that good, it's only one year in Tempe? I well, think they're going to come at somebody. Yeah, if he plays really well this year, other schools are going to come after him. They're going to dangle money. Oh, by that, the way, we have a starting job. We're going to the college football playoffs. And, oh, by the way, this uh, alumni-owned car dealership wants to give you a million next right. year. That, that's a problem for another day. But for, for ASU's, for, for, for Kenny Dillingham's perspective, this is the way I, I look at it. His priority has to be this year's team, obviously. But through fall camp, if Rashada – uh, even the playing field and, and showed that he was just as capable as Borgay and before the injury drew uh, Pine and Rashada looked uh, that he was capable of running this offense uh, equally to Borgay then Kenny Dillingham has to think big picture like okay if, if we've got a year this year where we're probably rebuilding anyway we got a chance to get this kid a full season under his belt mm -hmm. so when we hit the ground running in 2024 we have a seasoned veteran quarterback with a season under his belt that's going to help us be a much better football team in 2024 like that's the way i would look at it that's the way i think he's looking at it because if you take 
your lumps this year, you're coming, hitting the ground running in 2024. Otherwise, like I said, Rashada's not sitting for two years. Then you have a rebuilding year this year, and then Rashada's got to play next year as a first-year starting quarterback taking his lumps next year. Get that all out of the way this year. Yeah. As long as Rashad is, if he's equal to Borgay right now, go ahead and play him now. Go ahead and yeah. play him now and so, is, so, so he's ready to roll next year as a seasoned veteran quarterback. But again, is he going to be ready to roll in the same colored uniform? Because Jared pointed out, well, hey, you're, look, played, you're going he, looking for problems but now. He, no. I mean, right? How do you not? In, uh, a, in okay. a situation like a, ASU has not established itself as a college football power. And then we can go back into the whole lack of, uh, of you know, institutional emphasis on football and more emphasis on the Olympic sports. We've had that conversation a million times, especially with the dissolving of the, of the Pac-12. So they failed to do that, right? It's still that quote-unquote sleeping giant. And this is not specific to Kenny Dillingham. This is not specific to Jaden Rashada. We've talked about this with Bobby Hurley in the past. This new idea of re-recruitment, Jarrett said, you play him as a freshman, you know you've got him. No, you don't. These players have to be, a lot of them have to be re-recruited to come back every single year. It's a one-year proposition. That's, and it's going to be a problem. Yes. Uh, that, that's not going away. If Jaden if Jaden Rashada leads this team to eight or nine victories, and he's, he's Pac-12 freshman of the year, other schools are going to come after him, and they're going to offer him a ton of money, and maybe he's going to leave. That's the harsh reality of of college football and college basketball. Yeah. There is no question about it. I, As you know, I went to school at DePaul, uh, and we have a terrible college basketball program right now. Every time... But, we, uh, well, no, I mean... Right uh, now. Uh, every, well, I mean, if, I'm sadly for the last 20 years, but now in the, in the portal, and I'll, every time we get a decent player now, somebody comes and poaches them. Yep. You know, because we're not very good, and usually we get, we get low-level recruits, but sometimes we hit on somebody, and then a bigger school comes and takes them. It's brutal. It's 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 become like in pro sports when you're a small market and you develop this star, and then you just can't pay them after their rookie contract or whatever. Yeah, and you, I mean, we talked about that for decades like too. The like Oakland, how many, the how many Oakland A's th- of yes, college football? Right. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you've got uh, the movie channels on on ca- cable or satellite, Moneyball's been playing like every 15 minutes for the last month. You can see it where they, the the line is what we're a farm system for the teams like the Yankees. Right. That's that's kind of what college athletics could become but again like i'm, I'm kind of t- half teasing you like you're looking for problems let's like let's enjoy the season let's see how he plays and let's watch what happens in the spring yeah, I expect mean, I mean, it to happen maybe asu can step up May, the, the, who's the gentleman that just gave a million dollars to the program nap lawrence okay so nap we're gonna lose Jaden to lsu yeah, Jaden Daniels is another Jaden to LSU. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so so now they're going after the other Jaden. They're they're offering him a million bucks. Like, what can you do to keep Rashada here? What can you help with? And can we get anybody else to kick in to keep this kid? That's what that's, was. That's the reality of this now. Yes, where Kenny and, Dillon and, has to go out to the alumni and say, "This is the number we have to hit." It used to, to be keep, like that to, to keep, keep our the, quarterback. It used to be like that to keep the head coach. This head coach. Wants to go some, you know, is negotiating with yeah, a bigger Booster's school. Booster's got to kick in. Booster's got to kick in. But Vic sure. and I talked about that, and, and Kenny Dillingham did not mince his words when he said, hey, if not for Nap Lawrence, we don't have a football team this he year. He spent like a minute talking about that. Yes, yeah. it was it was harrowing right. for and, people who enjoy college athletics. And Nap Lawrence, bless his heart, kicks in a million bucks. Like, that that might keep the that's a, that's a lot of money. Yes. That might keep... And that makes him a big fish in Tempe, Arizona. Right, but that also might just keep the quarterback next year. Yeah. Forget the, the forget the other 84 guys. <laughs> exactly. And it might not be enough just to keep the quarterback. I'm, to, <laughs> I mean, to your point, I'm excited to watch Rashada play. I'm really curious to see what this looks like because we've heard about him for so long. He gets the job. But I, all season long, I'll be thinking about these things because that's what college football has made me do as a fan. And I love the sport of college football. I love it less than I did. I'm mad at it. This is this is this is what they've created. This this is the reality yes. now. Yeah. It, it sucks. It's no good. I I I I feel your pain. 